Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you how I made my fish skirt with paddle. It's not going to be an attached panel, it's a cut together with paddle and I'll be using two yards of fabric to make my skirt and the measurements needed are the half length and the full length of your skirt, the waist measurements and the hip measurements of the skirt. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe and the bell button in order to get notification for our upcoming tutorials. And don't forget we upload the cutting and the sewing of our tutorials separately. So if you're watching the cutting, there's need to watch the sewing tutorial. And if you're watching the sewing tutorial, there's need to watch the cutting tutorial as well. So let's move on to the cutting table. Alright, first I'm going to work on the front. First, I have the knee length of 15 inches and the full length is 38 inches plus 2 inches. I have that's the same allowance, so I have 40 inches. This is my 40 and this is my knee length. Now, to fold my fabric, I'll be folding using the hip measurement plus 4 divided by 4. And that's because I won't be adding any lining to my fabric. So if you'd be needing lining in the material you're using, that means you need plus eight inches divided by four. Now, my hip measurement, 36 plus four divided by four is 10 inches. But I added extra inches to my folding. This is a normal 10 inches I'm supposed to fold. But here I have 17 inches. That's to the width measurement of the base of my skirt. So that means you can still increase the folding to your desired measurement. It, this is a fish skirt, more like a mermaid skirt, so we need something wide at the base. So you can always fold to your desired measurement. All right, so I'll come to the waist measurement. To get the waist, waist is 28 plus four divided by four, plus four divided by four is eight inches. So this is eight inches. And the deep, the hip measurement plus four divided by four. To get the distance between the waist and the hip, you can always measure like this. So this is the waist measurement. You get the distance between the waist and the hip measurement. So I'm just going to, this is six inches. I'll bring down the six inches on my fabric. This is my six inches. So I'll get my hip measurement from there. The hip measurement plus four divided by four, that is 10 inches. Now, at the base, that's at the knee area, I'm going to subtract one inch from my hip measurement. That's because I want to pencil it inside before bringing it out. So since the hip is 10, minus one will give us nine inches. So we are to connect this shape from the waist to the hip, from the hip back to the knee area. Then from there, I'm going to bring it out to the edge of my folding. All right, so I'm just going to cut this out. This is the front. So let's fold for the back. Now to cut for the back, I'm going to cut it one by one. So to cut for the back now, I need a wider fabric and also a longer material. That's because I want the paddle longer than the normal length of the skirt. But if you don't want the paddle longer than the normal length of your skirt, you can just bring out the same length, just bring it out this way. Now, this is the 15 inches, the 15 inches, which is the half length. The width, that's from here now, the width of my paddle. 
the rate I at which I want the paddle flowing is the measurement I'm going to bring out from here. That's from the from the folding. So you can make it 10, 11, 12, 15 to your desired measurement. So I'm just going to make this 10 inches. 10 inches. And like I said, if you don't want anything longer, just bring out the length like this. But I want mine a bit longer, just a bit longer. So it's going to be 5 inches longer that's the paddle it's going to be five inches longer so for that reason i'm just going to bring it out it's coming to meet with the edge of this that's the edge of the skirts all right so if you still want it longer than that you can still bring it down longer than what you have here then you make sure the hedge here by the side the hedges here are equal all right that's to the base now to the paddle itself from my 15 inches from the 15 inches i have here i'm coming to my 10 inches that i measured that's to the length with which the width that i want for the paddle you can always increase it this can be increased so I'm bringing it down, I'm bringing it all the way down. All right, so it's coming straight down. That's my 10, and this is the normal length of my skirt, but I had it to the, to the length of the paddle, so as to meet with this. All right, don't forget we need a same allowance. We need a zipper allowance here. So I'm adding just one inch for the zip since it has no lining. So the one inch comes all the way down. So to cut, I'll go like this. Then I have my one inch. Let's cut it out so that we can see clearly. So, this is the outcome of the front, this is the front, and this is the back. The, here is the paddle, and this is the side. We're going to complete this in the sewing tutorial. Don't forget, we upload our cutting and sewing tutorials differently. So, if you're watching the cutting, there's need to watch the sewing. If you're watching the sewing, there's need to also watch the cutting tutorial. Thanks for watching Carrie's Creations tutorials on All Africa TV. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if this is your first time on the channel. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at All Africa TV. Follow me as well on Facebook and Instagram at Carrie's Creations. You can leave your comments in the comment box below.